the other thing is that a question came up online that we should answer, if not now, later. Well, let's do it now. Uh, and one of the questions that I liked online is, ask the calibrators, what's more important, contrast ratio or color accuracy? I just want to say that on the attributes, the four attributes, we put them in order of priority. Right, the, weight, the weight is contrast first, followed by color. That's correct. But when overall, it's both. I mean, yes, I can't accept zero IRE blacks on everything when the color is skewed. That's, that's unacceptable to me. I mean, for others it may be different, but from my perspective, absolutely not. I think overall both are very big components to picture because the picture is not only black and white, it's color also. So you've got to take that into consideration. This is a very complex question to answer, it really, actually, really what, is. what he's saying is, I mean, let's, here's a good example. Zero contrast ratio and accurate color. Right. I can't deal with it. I'm sorry. As accurate as the color is, this is a, this is right. a deal breaker for me. Exactly. Not to be bashing any particular company. All right. Okay, here we go over here. We have um, better blacks, higher contrast ratio, slightly better overall color accuracy. This becomes a very difficult decision to, for me. Right. Because it's real close. It's not, you know, if if... If the issue with cyan on this were um, less intense, it would be that we'd all be picking this TV in a heartbeat because the contrast ratio is so far greater than anything in the room. It's not even close. Um, there are other things about LED that are slightly <coughs> problematic, like the off-angle viewing or what have you. Um, but it really is a matter of how far off is the color. If it's close. And the contrast ratio is better, you're probably going to err towards the contrast ratio. If it's way off on color, you're probably going to err towards the color. But again, I mean, this is like zero contrast ratio in accurate color, and it's still it's not getting my attention here. Um, what do you think? What do you I mean, I, I understand the, the issues with the LG, but if you've just walked into a showroom like this in the doors, and you looked at the top picture and the bottom picture, I mean, the color, there's no, the color is so far off on the bottom picture. It's, it's, it's thin tone with it. Yeah. But that's what Kevin was trying to explain, basically. When the color is so far off, forget about the black levels. It's that's just right, yeah. unacceptable. And, and the exact opposite can happen with the LG. But I, I, I understand but what Kevin said was yeah, the top one is a disqualifier for him. And I'm just saying, if you took an AB of the two, and you just walked in, there's just the flesh tones alone on the, on the bottom set. Um, I think you, you, would, you would select the top set. You're a little bit far off angle on this one too. If you got in the center, the flesh tones would be a little bit better looking than what you're seeing right now. And you won't have that issue, obviously, with the plasma and the LG. Um, and yet, you know, when you, you read elite owners, I can't tell you how many elite owners I've seen say, best flesh tones I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Maybe watch a the, movie more. The flesh tones <laughs> are really not the issue on this. No, right. And, right. And, and we're also looking at a specific color at specific lumens levels where the problem arises with the color. Yeah. Um, it does vary that content. It does. Yeah, it's, yeah. Also, it's also what you perceive and what you like. I mean, I'm not saying I agree with it, but I can see somebody walking in seeing this one TV amongst this whole field being a completely different color going, all these other TVs mm -hmm. look yellow, this one looks awesome. Right, I agree. You, you know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. Somebody, I agree. Somebody could say that. It is subjective. So it's, you know. So to take all, all this objectiveness, it's whatever the artist, who is the director, wanted you to see. Regardless of what your personal right. preferences are. Right, no, what, I, yeah, exactly. I get where you're coming yeah. from, but I'm saying just the average person walking into Best right. Buy or Magnolia or, sure. or, oh, I agree. or PC Richards. I absolutely, you're agree. absolutely right. The average person also isn't uh, in tune with what it, what is accurate, number one. And, uh, They're going to look at a football screen with the grass like jumping out at you and going, right. oh my god, right. greens are so vibrant. Well, that's, that's why, that's why, LCD, <laughs> that's why <laughs> LCD sells more than plasma in, in the showroom, because of that right there. People like bright, shiny objects. When they're going to buy something. It's, it's like human it's nature. Like lost, it's like lost to a flame. It's, every it's the same thing. Five years ago, I got run out of the Chicago Union train station. I was doing a demo with LCD <coughs> and plasma. And everyone during rush hour came by saying that I was just, I, I was blind because the NFL footage had the really vibrant mm -hmm. green on the LCD. And they said, what's wrong with your plasma? 
So every thousands of people are coming by. I just I just totally got run out of town. That brings up a good point right here. Can we switch over to football? football? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Phil, the game's on.